Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can organize all your files in Canva. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so lately I have been having a lot of YouTube thumbnails and also some graphics that I upload to Instagram or to my Facebook page or my Facebook group. So I really need to have all my files organized within Canva and I'm gonna show you how you can do that as well. Let's go to my screen so you can see how it's done. The first thing that you're gonna do is to go to your Canva. Let's go and sign in here and then you want to go to all your designs and you want to click on here and you can see that I have a lot of mainly thumbnails here but I also have other types of graphics here and I named them differently I'm gonna start ordering these by folder okay here is where the section where you have all your designs but if you go to all your folders you can see that you can create some folders and start organizing your designs by type, by date, by whatever you like, okay? So here you can see that you have them all and I have created these two other folders and you can see that I have Instagram here and YouTube thumbnails here, okay? So if I come back to my designs there are two ways that you can put it on folder you can go to file and you can save to folder and you can select the folder you want this to be added or you can create a new folder from here okay so I'm gonna add YouTube thumbnails here and click on save now if you want to verify if it's there you will go to all your folders and you can see that here it is okay so the other way to create a folder from Canva is by going to all your folders here and you can create a new folder from here as well so let's say I want to create Facebook group okay and then I'm gonna click on create folder and here it is. The other thing that you can do is to move the signs from folder to folder and the way that you can do that is to go to your all your designs or you can just go to your folders like I did it before and you can just move this one to a different folder just by clicking on the three dots right here and you can just move it to a different folder. So let's say this one shouldn't be here because it is not a YouTube thumbnail. This is an Instagram story that I created. So I'm gonna move this from here, from this folder, and I'm gonna move to folder, and I'm going to create a new folder from here. I'm going to create the folder name Instagram stories. I'm gonna add to new folder, and there it is it is gone from you can also delete a lot of elements at once like for example i want to delete a thumbnail that i created for a client i just want to delete it from here because she already has it on her own canva once you select it you can just click on this button right here i'm gonna click on delete and you can delete delete it from your folders. If you want to delete more than one design here, you can go to your designs and you just click on the checkbox here and you can delete them at the same time or move them to a folder, a different folder, just from here. And another very neat feature that you have here in Canva is that you can save your elements as well, your favorite elements. Let's say I have this one that I have here and it's really nice, I love it, I use it very frequently. I'm gonna click on info and you can click on add to folder from here and you can select the folder that you want it from here and you can add it here. See, really easy. 
then you can come back to your folders and you can see here that if we refresh it here that in elements I have this image saved as an element that I like and it is saved without background so it's really really neat to have your elements here saved in folders as well I hope this video was useful for you and now you can apply some of these tips to your Canva organization let me know if you have any other questions or if you have any other tips so you can organize better your Canva designs you can leave them in the comments down below if you're interested also in some other features from Canva, I also have the remove background. I'm going to add it right here. This is very, very short video and tutorial on how you can remove the background of your thumbnails or designs or pictures using Canva. And also I show you how you can create your thumbnails with Canva in this video. If you like this type of content, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button because you will be seeing more of Canva and how you can do other things with Canva in my future videos. That's it for today. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please don't forget to click on the like button and on the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye bye.